And on to matters health, where well, the World Health Organization, WHO, and the Ministry of Health in Kenya have partnered to train health volunteers to deal with the rising cases of health emergencies in the continent. Under the program that targets World Health workers from 47 countries in Africa, the volunteers will be capacitated and, dis and dispatched to areas affected by disasters within 48 hours. This came as the high number of deaths associated with the COVID-19 pandemics in the continent was attributed to a lack of preparedness and capacity in the region. The World Health Organization, WHO, and the Ministry of Health in Kenya have partnered to train health volunteers to deal with the rising cases of health emergencies. The two-year project seeks to train 3,000 workers from the continent, with Kenya among the 15 countries that have benefited from the first phase of the exercise. But, uh, epidemics are a real thing and they'll continue happening, but we want to take a proactive I want to be proactive now and not reactive, okay? Um, um, COVID is not the last we are going to see, and we need to be ready at any time to respond to any emergency um, or any outbreak um, that occurs. Um, it really came from the challenges we faced uh, in the response to COVID-19, and that is regionally, not only in Kenya. According to Dr. Kanini Kimonye from the Ministry of Health, the COVID-19 pandemic was an eye-opener for the continent, which lost many lives, including health personnel, revealing that 120 Kenyans from different ministries had undergone a three-week training program in dealing with disasters within the health sector. Kenya has been making improvements day by day. We have many challenges, uh, but... Um, in my opinion, I think we did our very best with COVID. But this training now is addressing some of those challenges that we noticed. And, and that is in the capacity, that is knowledge-wise, and also the number of health workers that we have. We did not have enough to respond um, optimally. Speaking in Naivasha, Nakuru County, at the end of the first phase of the training, Kanini said that they wanted to be proactive instead of planning after disaster had occurred. After all these trainings are completed, we will then have the 3,000 uh, surge uh, volunteers who will be deployable to any outbreak within the region within 24 to 48 hours. So that is the aim of this training. One of the program beneficiaries, Jude Odor from Busia, noted that many of the infections in the county include COVID-19 originated from neighboring countries. So I believe that this training that we've just done uh, will help a lot in uh, strengthening the response mechanism and also in prevention of infection in the country. Yeah, some of the gaps were addressed, uh, for example, handling the COVID, uh, COVID cases, COVID-19 confirmed cases. The way we used to handle it and the way we train here is uh, totally different. This was echoed by Jawad Said from the Ministry of Water, who termed sanitation as a critical part in dealing with emergencies and disasters. Moving forward, I would say that we are ready to be deployed in case of any emergencies in the EOCs. This is a two-year program for now, but it will be continuous. And um, the first part of this program is to um, train health workers, build their capacity. And so far they have trained health workers from um, 15 countries. And the idea is to go into all 47 member states of the WHO Afro um, region. The COVID-19 pandemic caught health service providers flat-footed, with its novelty being a matter of concern, even among health professionals who are among the frontline response, prompting a need for proactive measures in case of any such occurrence in future.